What's up guys? Welcome to another Critique the Community. Today we're gonna to be critiquing minimalistic photos, but if you would like to be a part of the next critique, the genre that we're going to be critiquing is nighttime photography. I'm not going to pigeonhole you into doing stars, just anything related to night. Uh, so feel free to check out the link that will link you to the area where you can submit those photos. One other thing before we get started, uh, we were talking about potentially dropping the critiques from 20 photos down to 10 for future episodes, just because these tend to get really long. All of our YouTube videos are like 10 to 15 minutes, but then these can be like an hour long. Let us know your thoughts in the comments on, uh, you know, if we did, we continue doing critiques every week, but instead of 20 photos, we just do 10 and we'll still give away two, uh, two tutorials. So it'll be the same there, but it'll, it'll be a little bit easier to watch I imagine that the people who submit photos, they're probably gonna want us to more. critique more, and the people who don't and just watch our YouTube channel, they probably want us to do less. So, but let us know who you are, what you want, what you think would be good, and uh, we will take that into consideration for next time. But let's go ahead and get into this. This is the highest rated hmm. image and the first image of the critique. This photographer automatically wins a free tutorial. We will be sending you a, uh, a link on f-stoppers um, and if you'd like to check out uh, what tutorials those are, you can always go to fstoppers.com slash door. This is tough because, like on one hand, as a landscape photo, I don't feel like this is that great, but maybe if it was a great landscape photo, it wouldn't be minimalistic. Okay. Minimalistic is kind of a strange genre that we've never really done before. Three stars, I agree. I feel like it's interesting the color that's going on here is, is very interesting. The fact that we're like above the clouds shooting the tip of this mountain or volcano, whatever it is. It's interesting, but it's just not the most beautiful subject matter. Um, yeah, I think because of the cloud placement and the fact that it's this interesting mountain that puts it towards a three, but I don't know. I almost, I almost think this could be more interesting, cropped in a little bit more, maybe even in black and white. I know you love the color on this, but mm -hmm. to me, like, is there a flare or is that just like a little bit of highlight that's in the very middle of the mountain? Yeah. My so. eye keeps going to that, almost thinking like it's a mistake or a flare or something. I don't know why that has the color that it does, unless it just sits out a little bit further. I think it's a solid image, certainly under the criteria of minimalistic. If you were a professional landscape photographer, I gave this a three, so it should be a solid image, but I don't know that I would put this on my website. What also throws me off is the composition. The most interesting part of this is the fact that you're above the clouds, yet so much of the composition is boring sky, and I know why they did that. They tried to put the cloud line, you know, a third from the bottom and, and give it some weight. But it just kind of seems like there's too much sky that makes it a little boring. Like most of the picture is kind of boring because of the sky. The community gives it 3.4 stars. So just a little bit nicer than us. Um, all right, Patrick, go ahead and pick a number two through 20, which will be the one random winner. Let's do number nine. Number nine, all right. When we get to number nine, you will also get a free tutorial. This is number two. Ready? Very common theme with a lot of landscape photographers. The path or road that goes to nowhere. Three, two, one, you two. Gave you gave it a three. See, I think I might like this one better than the previous image. In, in, in a lot of ways I do, it's I do as well. It's because they made it black and white. <laughs> it's even more minimalistic. They've taken all of the color palette and thrown it away and we're just left with a grayscale. This is one of these strange images that I uh, I don't I don't dislike the composition I don't dislike the subject matter but something about it feels a little bit cheap to me and maybe it's like the the fake vignette or something it just feels a little cheaper to me than the last shot um, and that's why I gave it I think it's stars. just because it doesn't look like they're in a crazy, exotic, expensive location. I'm gonna disagree with you there just because I usually like graphic images like this that are more shapes rather than just pretty locations. But something about this shot in particular, it just, it's not blowing me away. Yeah, but I, I like what they did. I like that the vignette 
pulls you through the frame and there's that bright spot in the middle and um i just don't think that like the concrete and the rocks like nothing about this the location isn't that pretty yeah but the curvature of the of it's interesting the path is pretty nice the community gives it 3.12 stars it's not just a competition between us but with the who can get well. closest to the community so you yeah. don't get torn up in youtube comments like i i love to be <sighs> i have i have a strange problem with this photo um that i'll talk about after we rate it three two one three stars we agree the fact that this this bottom piece down here is white it makes it feel like she's one inch off the ground <laughs> and i like the fact that the the bottom is white she I should think, have jumped higher she should have jumped higher or you could photoshop her up higher or something but my eyes when i first see this shot it appears that the she has somehow jumped off her like toes yes that's what it looks like and it's wrecking the shot for me because so you could have just photoshopped in more white space like like drag this whole image up yep. just a little bit more and then just add more white to the bottom. It's the easiest edit ever. And then I think, boom, now you don't have that, you know, weird mind confusion of well, how high is she and where exactly is the ground? But I what still give it three stars. What do you feel about, we can critique a lot of this. What, how do you, what do you feel about the color balance? Do you feel like this image is too cool? When you see direct light or a strobe, that hard light like that, typically, it's kind of a, it registers warm. And to me, this looks just a little cool. Maybe because she's in full clothing and so, the hat, okay, so maybe this? it how makes it this? feel a little wintry. The, the white balance on the background is perfect. I mean, there's, there, I don't, on this screen at least, I see no tint whatsoever. It's just perfectly white. But then if you start looking at her hands, her skin, the uh, shadow behind her, you're right. It does look a little bit blue. So I don't know, maybe this is pure white and that's why it looks white to me, but if it's not, if there's a little bit of detail back there, I wouldn't, I wouldn't warm up the entire picture. I like the fact that it's a pure white background. But I see what you're saying, like warm I just her feel up like, a little bit. I feel like it could be a little warmer. Okay. Um, maybe that's a weird, very specific critique. I also wish like she was doing something more with her face. Yeah, I like, agree. Like she almost looks like a bank robber or something, you know? Like <laughs> yeah. I like the movement, I love the space, I love the layout. You could put a bunch of graphics here, like text and stuff. Like I think this image works on a, on a variety of levels, but I almost wish she was looking up to the top left of the frame or even the top right of the frame or something. Yep. She has no mouth. Yep, I agree completely. And her, her legs, the way that that one foot intercepts with the knee, it just kind of, it seems like... I don't even know if that bothers me that much, but um, I just wish, you know, it seems like such a powerful image, and yet her facial expression is non-existent. The community gives it 2.51. <laughs> Interesting. These shots, I never know if this is like shooting with a macro lens or they've reversed the lens with a bellows or something, and... This is a natural effect, because I don't shoot anything like this. Or if this is a lot of Photoshop to an image that... Are you saying the shallow depth of field looks too shallow? Is that what you're saying? That and just like, yeah, it's just, this would be very, I feel like this would be very easy to Photoshop if you just had a picture of a snake. But <laughs> right, right. maybe this is naturally taken with like a 100 millimeter lens or a 200 millimeter macro or something like that. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I, uh... There was another picture I think you had with Peter Hurley that looked a lot like this. It was like a portrait of a girl in a field that had a similar look. Mm. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I was in between a three and a four on this one. I mean, we definitely are hitting minimalistic on this. But... I keep trying to put these images in their... the cat, Like the genre that they would normally be in, sure. and this would be like animals or wildlife and i feel like for that it might be not up to par with a lot of wildlife photography i've seen but i could also see this being used for like an ad or for a meme or something i know it's weird to say like a meme like <laughs> how do you rate that but i can see a lot of text or i could see 
a cover story with something yes. juxtaposed to this. Yes. It seems like an interesting photo for a minimalistic image, and I like it. I think that's a three. But outside of that, are you going to have a whole portfolio of this stuff? Is this going to represent? I mean, you certainly could. I, I could. You are, you're the photo series guy. I could definitely see a photo series where Different like- Different animals peeking out of Peeking out of sound. grass. Yeah, I think that could be really interesting. Now, I don't think this is the most interesting shot of a snake. The snake's not really making a, much of an expression. It's not sticking his tongue out. It's not really looking at the camera that He's much. He's not like, squinting and he doesn't have his tongue out. Yeah. You want more out of the snake. I, I want, yeah, I want the sex appeal out of that snake. I'm not getting it, but I still give it three stars. Community gives it right at three stars mm -hmm. too. We are 100% correct. I don't know what that is. It just looks like kids making mounds in the, at the beach. That is a really strange formation to see if that is naturally formed. <laughs> All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Two stars, needs work for it, hits your portfolio. This to me is just all about the subject matter. I just don't think this should be on your website for no matter what type of photographer you are, unless you are a super famous fine art photographer. And, and you, you can could, get away with it. You this. could sell this for $5 million. Unless there's a price tag of $5 million on this, I don't think it should be on your website. This shot reminds me of our buddy Brian Young, who he and his brother-in-law have this business where they have a line through the frame. You've seen these images. They're like juxtaposed images where on one side it might be uh, a, a mountain and then on the bottom side it's like a snow cone you know and it's like it, it looks like a picture but then there's a line I feel like I want this image to be like a dozen eggs mm -hmm. and then a pure blue sky mm -hmm. or something like that it's not quite what he does but it's got that feel to it I think you're absolutely right like the subject matter this just looks like a weird it almost looks like a fake paper mache or stucco yeah. Sculpture or something? I don't know. That doesn't look natural to me, and it doesn't look like I want to be on that hill. It doesn't look like the type of sand that you're like, oh, that's beautiful. Right. Community gives it 2.1 stars. They agree with us. Hmm. This makes me think of your, uh, your basement. <laughs> All the black widows and how I never really want to walk around down there. I've just befriended the Black Widows in my garage. Yeah. I, just, I just live with them. They're probably going to kill me one day, but we're friends at the moment. Uh, right. uh, three, two, one. I was in between a two and a three on this one. I uh, think if you zoom in and look at the spider, to me, it just looks... Like it's at the lowest quality possible. Yeah, it's kind of like a snapshot. I love the idea of this graphic image where the mm -hmm. spider is perfectly balanced in the corner mm -hmm. of the frame. Mm -hmm. But again, like so much of this frame is just a gradient. Like, And the gradient, I know it's like a low res image that we have, but we, we can see all of this banding and stuff. It, it just kind of looks like this was created in Photoshop and it just makes it look really cheap to me. If you could have a really large high-res macro shot of this and zoom in a lot and get rid of, like, most of the dead space, still keep it there, Yeah. but then make it more about the spider and have just a quality image of that spider. Yeah. Maybe you even lit him. I mean, there's only so much you can really do with a Black Widow if you feel comfortable with it. But if you could make it more about the spider and really make that portion of the image so high quality and so interesting and then add the gradient in Photoshop later... I think it could be much more interesting, but... I love the concept, though. Yeah. I think it's a very interesting concept. Community gives it right at three stars, so they liked it more than us. This reminds me of, like, the crop circle conspiracy theories that aliens have visited it's, the southeast. Isn't it weird how aliens used to contact us all the time through crop circles, but then they just kind of stopped for a while. Did they stop? They're not still doing I don't think the aliens do that. They, I mean, they still do the butt stuff, but they don't do the crop circles Do you ever have anymore. a desire to go out and do a crop circle? Uh, now, as, now as like a landowner or a homeowner, I think I would be so mad if people <laughs> yeah, did yeah, that. Like but as a teenager, it was crops. like, let's go out and do a crop circle. Yeah. Or do donuts in your car with, you know. Yeah. 
Ready? Um, yeah. Three, two, one. Three stars. We agree. Have we agreed on every single one? I think we so. Were off, no, we were off on the on the second one by one. Um, this is cool to me. This is really cool to me. The lighting that's coming across these tracks looks great. It's yeah. you know we're getting that really nice side light, so it's not. It doesn't look like direct flash with the sun. If it was setting above. too much, you might actually not get this effect because the shadow would blend into the next yeah maybe line. So. So it's very interesting. You know, I want to give this a four, but um, I just feel like it's not, it's not quite as perfect. Like imagine, what, what's really interesting about this is there are these lines going through the entire thing. Like, I don't know what did this. I don't know if this is a, you know, sand trap on a golf course. I wouldn't imagine with like the bushes in the middle, but this is something that's being raked by some sort of machine. I don't. I don't think these are tire tracks. I think it's like it's pulling yeah. a rake. Um, it's interesting. Well, you do have like tire tracks maybe here, and then you have the rake lines throughout the whole thing. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's it it is very interesting. It feels like minimalistic fine art to me. I could see this like in a hotel lobby or something. Yeah. Community gives it three stars. They agree. You've seen this before, right? Yes, I have. <laughs> this is such a weird it's photo a, that's of That's a it, creepy though. photo. Yeah, when we were down in uh, Hawaii, we went swimming with uh, manna rays. And, uh, well, you guys floated on the surface and stared down, and mm -hmm. your wife and I scuba dived down to the bottom and saw them up close. Okay, hot shot. I'm but just saying. They still swam at us just like this. I might have seen this shot better than you did. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, let's. I don't understand though how it's lit. Like, I, me either. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. All right. Three, two, one. Two stars. Uh, it's somewhat interesting. It's somewhat graphic. And when simplicity. I first saw it, I was like, uh oh, do I really want to figure out what this is? Because it looked like. A womb, or it looked kind of <laughs> gross. Um, yeah, if you don't, if you don't see the little fins on the side, you would not know what the heck that is. Or a car part, or something, you know. <laughs> a womb or a car part. Yeah, you know they're both so some mechanical. You're right. You know. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how to tell somebody how to improve this. Like, first of all, it feels like the quality is really low because it's shot underwater or through an aquarium. And that's really difficult to get sharp, clean images in those situations. But I just feel like the quality is not that great. And then I would love to see the highlight on the rest of the, the animal's arms, you know, the wings. Yeah. And even then, would it be like minimalistic? Maybe because it's, it's black? In its current state, it's certainly minimalistic. Yeah. But I think that's kind of to its detriment. 1.84 stars. All right, this is the number nine. This is the winner. Congratulations. Number nine, number nine. Uh, David will send you a message on F-Stoppers, and you can choose your free tutorial. Three, two, one. Three stars, we agree. This is interesting to me. I, it's certainly minimalistic, but uh, I like it. I almost feel like if you cropped in the slightest, I can't do it on the screen, but got rid of the white lines on the side. I don't know that you should do this, but if you did, you would almost have no idea what you're looking at. But because the white lines on the outside, you know this is a building, right? Like, or parking deck, or it's some kind of structure. But if you zoomed in just enough, like this could absolutely be anything now. This could be like a microprocessor <laughs> or a roof. I don't know. It's it's interesting how perfect these lines are. That, yeah, that's it. That's the weird thing. I'm trying to figure out what is this because if it's if if, if those are windows, why can't we see it in them? If it's windows, why aren't some of them dirty? It it looks almost like too a, perfect. It's got to be a parking garage, right? Maybe that's what it is. Why can't we see in and see the cars in the parking garage? I mean, could they have photoshopped every, every square to be yeah, black? Maybe. Let us know. In I the love comments. it. Like it's it's just a really good. Community composition 2.88, right around three stars.
Oh. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Four stars. We agree again. This should have been the one that won the yeah the the tutorial. What yeah. is wrong with the community? So this ranked <laughs> lower than the first image. Apparently, we'll see the the community. What do you think this is second. sitting on? It feels like it's sitting on some old Corvette or yeah. something, but I don't know what I like. It appears like if you look close, it's just like a piece of glass or plexi or something. Ah, look at that. It's like a piece of glass or plexi that's just raised up off the ground like half an inch or quarter of an inch or something. Yeah, and they've gotten a little, like they, they could probably uh, clean up the edges of the plexi on the right and left, right behind the sunglasses. It's a little bit um, jagged. And especially when you compare it to how perfect the reflection is in these lenses and the reflection on the plexi and everything. Everything else is like pristine on this, but then you look at those jagged edges, it's a little strange. But uh, it's a beautiful image. Yeah, that's that's really cool. And I love how they they use this to, to submit to the minimalistic theme, because this is as minimalistic as it gets for something like that, you know? I mean, it's certainly not as minimalist. Like, you could just have Sunglasses on pure white. I guess white, that's but. true, but like it's it's graphic with lines and it's just a really pretty way to shoot. Yeah, sunglasses. Very well done. The community gives it three stars. Sorry, Connor. The community's wrong. Your image is much better than that. Ready? I am, but <laughs> three, two, one, two stars. Uh, to me, this is kind of like a issue of subject matter. It's not that interesting. I don't know if this is like a cherry in all three of its states or something, but um, like the cherry itself is kind of all dented and looks kind of bad. And the fact that they're they're also not on the app, like the way this image is being shot, I want them to be sitting on the apex of the line. Instead, right. they're like hidden a little bit. And so it makes no sense. Like I would imagine this was photographed perfectly horizontal and then they turned it to make it a little bit more interesting, but then it doesn't make any sense and it feels like all of this should be rolling off, you know? I mean, there's definitely something here. It's just not executed very well. And, and a lot of it could just be the lighting. Like, is this just a bare like bulb hitting everything and it's all contrasty and there's just nothing pretty about it. If you could somehow put a soft box above it and behind it really close and give this nice highlight over everything and the, the the shading would come towards the camera mm -hmm. instead of like down to the side and maybe they would cast little shadows on the orange or something yeah like i think there's something that you could do here that would be really interesting i guess this would be fine art um but in this current state I'm not feeling it community gives it 2.68 they like it more than us i'm ready Three, two, one. Two stars, this is pretty clear, two stars to me. Um, it's definitely not a snapshot, but I've seen some really cool photos of small boats in water, whether it's clear blue water like this or mur murky water. And I'm trying to remember if one of the shots was in the last critique with Peter or if I saw it somewhere else, but there's some shot with a boat going through water like this and it looks incredible. It's just a beautiful image for so many different reasons. This one, to me, is kind of getting closer to snapshot level. Nothing that's that interesting about it. And uh, I can just tell they frame this up more than what the average... Like, for our rating system, if you don't know, snapshot is like anyone with a camera. Our, our family members who know nothing about photography could have taken it. Mm -hmm. And it's very rare for me to like hand the camera to somebody and they would have taken an image that at least has a line going through it. So like, it's kind of a gray area what distinguishes a snapshot from an image that needs work when it's so natural like this. You literally could be on your condo taking this picture, but I feel like it is beyond a snapshot. Um, you know, and the quality is so bad. I mean, look at how pixelated. If you could just like... That may not be the photo, that just may be our copy of well, the photo. I guess that's true too. I don't know if there's something else you could do if you couldn't move the camera and this is the location that you're in. If there's just something you could do with the frame. I like this much better. I don't really like the blue 
coral or cloud cover, whatever is making the darker water up on the top right. Yeah. It I like the idea place. that you see the vastness of it and it's this tiny boat in this huge ocean, but I just feel like it's still boring to where that composition tells the story as well or better. Community gives it 2.34. Next up. Okay, three, two, one. I, I was uh, thinking about giving it a four. Yeah. Um, I need to see it printed big. We have low res files here, so you know it's hard to tell. But I could imagine going into a photo gallery and seeing this printed large on a wall and being really impressed by it. Or I could see it, you know, as a high res shot, being very poorly photoshopped, and you know. You, there was woods back there, and they just painted it all white, and it would be obvious if it, we had a high res shot. So, how do you feel about the like color tint to it? Do you like that it has this slight pink color added, or do you feel like it should be desaturated even more? And um, I did like it until you mentioned that, and now you know maybe it was maybe my critiques go deep, straight black and white. Maybe I would like it more. And in my mind, I don't know if, if I'm just seeing things because we have a big light hitting us, but like, is there vignetting and like, does it look like someone's taken an eraser tool and there's areas that are just barely? I think that is this tablet we're on. I do not think that is a real Because when you look at something this white and you have a black bezel and then you have content in the middle, my eyes start to like reflect these little. See? I think it's pure white everywhere. Okay. It just kind of looked like maybe something was very close to pure white, but then there was also areas that were erased out. And, yeah. But maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Community gives it right at three stars as well. Strange house or lighthouse? Does it have to be a lighthouse? I was thinking air conditioning vents. <laughs> or sewage. <laughs> Sewer entrance, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I can't <laughs> it could be a lot of that. things. It's like beach towel, black beach towel on the ground with AC vents coming up. <laughs> Three, two, one. I like it. I think it's interesting. I mean, it's symmetrical. The light's really hard and contrasty. Um, this is, again, one of those weird images where I could see this in some gallery. Mm -hmm. And you might be like, how the hell is this in there? But... <laughs> It's on the cusp of that. It's like, it's between a two and a three. Like, I don't know what you could do to make this better. Like, this is executed in the most interesting way possible for what this is. And the fact that we don't know what this is kind of makes it cool to me. I don't know. I like it more than, I like it more than I hate it. And if you had, if you had a portfolio <laughs> full of abstract, if you had a portfolio full of abstract images, I think maybe this one would sit pretty well. I, I agree. I, I agree. With I don't know if you could said. like. I don't. I don't know if there's any way to make this better. It's kind of, yeah. It's it's interesting the way it is. Community gives it three stars. It's got. Agree it's got to be a lighthouse, right? It's like circular. But why doesn't it have any uh, shadow to it? How is the white parts of it perfectly white? There would be a shadow on one side. You don't think the light is directly above this? Like they're perfectly lined Maybe. up with the sun. Let us know how you photograph this lighthouse or air conditioner vents. This, I think this is saying a lot about our society. Yeah? Yeah, I think there's a deeper meaning to this one. Well, way. you know, there's a lot of racial tension right now. So. No, I don't even think that. I think it's like, you know, our environment and plants and global warming. No, it's racism. All right, okay. you ready? Three, two, one. Everything's racism with you. Um, this is almost, uh, again, it's not a snapshot, but it's very close to being. I, I was in between a one and a two for sure. Like, I'm close to leaning towards snapshot on this. The fact that they backed up a little bit, they have a little bit of composition going on with this plant. Yeah. I imagine, like, most non-photographers would just zoom in and shoot the, the lizard. The lizard. Right. So that's why I gave it a two and not a one. But, like, the light's all green and gross and the, I don't know. Community gives it 1.64. Ooh. 
Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I was in between a three and a four on this. I think maybe I'm leaning more towards a four just because a lot of this critique has been twos and threes. And like to me, this is one of the strongest images in the entire critique. Mm -hmm. I wish the Cheerio was like sharper or had more contrast. Mm -hmm. I even wonder if you remove the cherry Cheerio altogether, if I would like this image more with nothing in there. But I like what they did on so many levels. Like this is a very interesting image that fits this theme very, very well. Yes, it does. Um, I might even say, gosh, I just want that Cheerio to just have more contrast to it. Here's my critique, and, and this, this probably goes against what the artist was trying to do, so feel free to tell me that I am a dumbass. But the fact that the milk is blending in so perfectly with the bowl. I mean, I can see the line. I, can I know, see. barely. You want it just like a little bit? Just, I just want, like, how is this lit? I mean, do you think this is lit with like a ring light or something? I don't understand how there's no shadows anywhere. Um, but I think that's your problem with the Cheerio. The light is so flat that you can't see any shadow and any dimension to the Cheerio. I feel like the Cheerio has texture to it. I feel like if you just lassoed that and then just pulled the blacks in a little bit more, mm -hmm. it might accomplish what I want it to accomplish for yeah. me. But then you could put so many things, you could Photoshop so many things in this bowl that a would make it circle. really interesting. I mean, you put that little Black Widow in there and like have him crawl, in the, you know, he's now going up the circle of the bowl, like the crop circle. I mean, there's a lot you could do. But I really like this and I, I feel like it, it looks like too. a high quality image. It, how do you feel about the milk blending with the bowl? Do you like it or you dislike it? I either don't want it to be there at all, or maybe I want it to be just 5% difference in density. Because at this angle, I can see it, but I feel like I would like to see a little bit more, maybe. Community gives it 3.26, the right in between us. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I was in between two and a three on this one. I can see that. Um, again, I think I see like this eraser tool thing. Yeah. It's like there's an oval around the image and then the whole right side, is it just like? It's tough because we're looking at this on a tablet. We got a really low res shot. The, you know, it's really bright under these lights. So I can see that too. And I don't know if that would ever show up in a print. Like, at first glance, I was like, I don't like the way that they shot this drink. I feel like it didn't have enough pop to it. But now that I look at it more, I can see where, like, it's got a softer feel to it. And I almost think if you had, like, three of these drinks in a row, that they were all just tweaked a little bit, mm. I think this could be, like, a really pretty shot. Mm. But the way that it is now, just one drink with all this white space, I'm just kind of like, eh. Take it or leave it. Maybe this would work better as a vertical. Probably not, because then it it'd just be too heavy on the bottom with the reflection. But like I said, if you or if you had like three drinks that just had the slightest difference in hue, maybe one that was lavender and then one that had like a, a slight blue color or something. I think it could be a really pretty series the way that the the drink is dressed up and everything. But as it is, I don't know that I'd put this in my portfolio. It just seems a little too off balanced. I completely agree. I, I Well, you want to put it in your portfolio, so you have to justify your answer here. Instead of justifying my answer. You're going to be like Peter and be like, the system, the rating system is wrong. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I'm going to retract my three. I'm going with two. Especially when I gave the Cheerio one three. I definitely like the Cheerio one a lot more than this one. So I'm going to go for the two on this one. The community gives it 2.55. So they were right in between a two and a three. Nice. All right. Three, two, one. So there's aspects of this that I love. The reflection of those clouds in that water is incredible. The trees in the upper left, they're kind of like pulling me out of the shot a little bit. Yeah. 
And then I was trying to decide if I zoom in and crop a little bit to make the bridge come through the middle of the frame, is that better? And I don't think it is better. I don't think it is better. I think I like the crop the way it is here. Does it bother you? And this is kind of a picky, weird critique, but it feels like this was shot so wide and relatively close that the bridge has this bowing okay. where I almost wish it had like a very straight edge to it. Yeah, I've been looking at that too. And you'll notice if you look at the left and the right side, the, the whole image needs to be skewed or warped a little bit to try to make it perfectly straight. In terms of the bowing from top to bottom, I don't know if that's naturally the way the bridge is made or the drone is just like close and it's, it's making it appear that way. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe, that's what I would think. I maybe would think. It's, a, it's a suspension bridge and it's like going down in the distance and that's why it's making it look like that. But uh, it's almost like it needs more bowing or no bowing. But at the moment, the amount of bowing that it has in the shot is, is like, it's annoying, you know? I don't know that, that you know, you want to start warping the file and trying to get everything perfectly straight. But. Yeah, and that would be, gosh, it'd be so hard to frame that up with the drone and try to get everything perfect, you know? Maybe you'd have to fly it up higher and then you're losing quality, you know, because you're yeah. trying to crop in or something. It's definitely interesting. Um, is there anything more they could have done with like the traffic or n like no traffic or had somebody drive? Some, I'd love to see like I, a single motorcycle. Like you have your buddy drive. That could be interesting. Just, I'd love to see some long exposure stuff. And uh, how are you going to do that from up there? Though? You, I mean, Elias is doing it. You can do it. Like fairly long. Like what are you talking about? Like half a second? Mm, maybe a little. Like you'd probably have to. Photoshop, you'd, you'd probably have to shoot it sharp like this and then shoot the, the cars moving a little bit and Photoshop them in um, just to get, get those tails behind them. But uh, it's interesting. Very interesting. Community gives it 2.4 stars. Do you like this one better or worse than the, the egg mountain shot? I think I like this one better. Yeah? I think I do. Three, two, one. Four, Four stars. stars for me, three from you. Really? I think this is beautiful. The one thing that like kills me from pulling it way over to a four mm -hmm. is I just the left side of the, the the mound, and I don't know that you could ever fix that if that's naturally occurring. It's just steeper and the yeah. sand has fallen. But I feel like if that was super smooth, with, maybe you could do it with some kind of gradient in Photoshop and fake it. I love how you'd have this nice light coming across the texture of the sand, and then whoosh, the left side of it is just perfect. Yeah. But the fact that that's kind of broken kind of kills it a little bit. I do like the muted colors. I mean, I feel like it's got a really nice color palette that's interesting. I've always wanted... The, the thing with these, especially being in, in deserts ourselves, is that you never know the scale of this. You don't know if this is huge or if they've just taken a very small little hill and shot it in a way to where it looks bigger than it is. And I've always wanted to do a series like this of mounds where you just then Photoshop a person in or something to make the scale way off. <laughs> yeah. And then you're like, what? That's crazy looking. I think it's cool. It almost, it almost feels like uh, CGI or something to me. It, it doesn't, it's like too perfect, except for the left side, like you said, but uh, it's cool. Community gives it right at three stars. And the final image of the critique. This is like, it's like a painting. And it does kind of look like a painting. Ready? Three, two, one. Three. Really? I was, I was thinking three or four on this really? one. Yeah. I like the painterly quality, but I just feel like other than that, it's kind of boring to me and the feather just doesn't look that sharp, and then the way it reflects, it just kind of makes the feather look like, I almost want, and I don't know if it's like lowering the camera angle to reduce the reflection, but I almost want that feather just like floating there without the reflection. I feel like it just kind of makes it, I don't know, like, it looks like fine art, it looks like a painting, and in that way it's kind of interesting, but other than that, I'm not really, this doesn't do much for me. I I was just downtown at some like 
art painting festival thing with Katie and... Uh, oh, romantic. Did you guys paint? No, no, no. We were, we were just looking at art. looking at fine artists in town, their work. And, uh, you know, if I removed the feather from this, I would still like this. I still think it's very beautiful. Um, the feather kind of holds it together, but like you said, maybe the reflection of the feather is like oddly black and dark, you know? So it's, it's kind of, it kind of makes it look like a dirty, grungy feather rather mm -hmm. than a soft, beautiful feather. But I think it's good. I think it's good. The community gives it uh, 2.71 stars, so you're wrong. All right, guys, that wraps up this uh, critique for minimalistic photos. Again, if you'd like to be a part of the next critique, we're doing nighttime photography. Follow the link in the description. And uh, for more video content like this, head over to fstoppers.com. And of course, to check out the tutorials that we're giving away in every one of these critiques, head over to fstoppers.com store.